in this bulb log video diary supplement I want to concentrate on a single plant really, that's the Trillium rivali. It's one of my favourites of the Trilliums. In fact some people are taking it out of Trillium now but as far as I'm concerned I'm just going to keep calling it what I've always called it and that's Trillium rivali. And it's the variation you get. This is in this frame. You can see there's a basket of seeds there. And there's another one there. And another one here. And we get all the variations, of course, that's not that's a hepatic I got in amongst this one. But it's the variation you get in the seedlings. Pretty ones with pink lines. Here's one that's almost pure white. Down here just coming out. Look, there's two more variations. Both different. Up here again, more variations. And so we get these variations. And they come round in the frame. These will get planted out. So these are seeds from our own garden and built up and just lovely variations. And sometimes I don't get this all the gather all the seed and, and look at all the seedlings there. I've got more baskets of seed that I gathered. And what I'll tend to do is gather seed from some of the nicer ones. There's it beside Trillium hibersoni to show you the, the two of the very small trilliums that are ideal and very good easy to grow in our conditions. You just have to pick the right spot in the garden to enjoy them. So the, that's them growing in this frame and what I'm going to do now is walk up from the frame to another area where is a good but so I'm going to walk quite quickly up through the garden avoiding looking at some of the other plants around because I'll come back and look at them later I'm going to come up here there's a, an aeroplane flying overhead some day away to sunny climates I want to come up to the the wall here at the top of the garden where we've got the pine tree because this is another wall that I'm establishing the Trillium Revalli on. It's, it's an ideal situation. It's raised up. It's in partial shade for some of the day, which all our gardens in shade some of the day. And it, it's raised up so we can enjoy seeing these plants at a greater height so it's up the wall but what I did was I, the other year I planted out a heap of seedlings and they've seeded they're self seeding there but I want them to seed all the way down the face of the wall and as you look you can see them here's one down here playing with light and shade here it's a bit awkward but there's one flowering and my intention is to get them and I'm going to plant some down in the right under this little pine that mimics the one up there and we'll get them growing all the way down the face and underneath there and this is mimicking what I saw in growing in southern Oregon where they were growing in a beautiful tree bank there's some of the darker ones and so they're growing in this bed here. Everything in this bed really is raised from seed apart from the pine tree. It's Jeffersonia. Jeffersonia dubia. There's another Jeffersonia over there. Erythroniums of various kinds, mostly Revolutum here. Little white dog. As you can see we've got more of the Trilliums rivalis coming down there along the walls. So, and there's the plan. There's some more seeded in there. And if we come up over here, at this end, we've got another pine. And in here, another group of Trillium rivali. So that's just one of the situations we've got them in. We've got them on the other raised walls, on other raised beds. They're ideal for that. So this is a wee homage to perhaps my all-time favourite Trillium, Trillium rivali.